What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy. Oh, this is not the overlay. Uh, what's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Kipachi. Back at it again for Kipachi Gym Podcast episode 39. Almost about to hit 40. We're 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 so close to 50, and that's a milestone for me to be honest. Um, we've been we've been keeping it strong. Um, haven't skipped any any days except for like going on vacation or if I, if I was sick, but I don't think I've skipped any days for me being sick. But yeah, either way, we still keeping it strong, you feel me? We still going strong. There's going to be a podcast next Wednesday. Everything is good. Happy for all y'all supporting me as uh, usual. And let's go ahead and get this thing started. So, first off, got the usual suspects. Blitz, say what's up to the people. Hey, first things first, happy birthday to the PlayStation 2. Yes, sir. One of the best uh, console, the last console that my parents had to buy for me. And uh, yeah, I got on the train late, but still had some good shit on there. I still got all my game, most of my games too. So, hey, shout out, Blitz, shout out, Blitz, shout out, PS2 as well. Uh, main man, Chef, say what's up to the people, bro. Hey, this Dokken battle was crack. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get addicted to it again like I was. This shit is crack. Yeah, you can thank uh, that uh, push ahead man, Senkon, for that. <laughs> Michelin man. <laughs> On me, this mode is not even in the back of my mind. You know what I'm saying? He said, pull up. You see, that's the new Marvel puzzle quest, Chef. Damn. I mean, we all got our gotcha games. It's for Chef, it's Dokken Battle. For me and Sector, it's uh, Dead or Alive. You know. Uh, actually, I, I haven't Marvel found mine yet. actually put money into. You say you put mod- uh, money into it? In Marvel Puzzle Quest, yes. How much How much you dropped? I used to do uh, the monthly shits. Uh, uh, it was oh. like $10 a month. Oh, damn. Oh. I mean, it was worth it, though. I mean, I was fucking with the game heavy, so... That's yeah, that's the one thing I don't understand. Whether it's a gotcha game or not, like if you like the game, like hey, why should I game. feel bad about why should I feel bad about giving them money if I like the game? Support the game. Support exactly. the game. Most definitely. It was a good game. I mean, it still is, but I haven't I haven't had a Marvel uh kick as of lately. So I got you, got you, got you. Alright, so our guest for this Wednesday, we have main man Will. Had him on here uh one other time. But Will, say what's up to the people, man. What's going on, y'all? I'm back. Uh, I haven't been doing much. Still the same shit from last time. Just doing it better, doing it smarter. Feel me? Got to keep wising up. I feel that. You sound like Yo, a... keep it up. You gonna be the calls before uh, Mitch is high key, bro. <laughs> get get this uh get this third co-host in here. We good, man. Um... What? Okay. Uh, I had a brain fart. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so getting into it, um, straight away we got Riot's 5v5 tactical shooter, Valorant. Um, this is some gameplay on screen. Now, when this first dropped, I literally, I think me and Blitz said it. Um, it was like literally CS:GO and Overwatch like blended together. Now, honestly, it looks good. I don't know why this quality is so bad. Hold on. It's a Twitter video. That's why. Uh, yeah, Twitter video is not as good. You might you, a... you might be able to YouTube it real quick. Yeah. Just type in Valorant reveal gameplay or whatever. Let me do that. Um, but just to continue to talk about it a little bit more. Um, I like I like it. I honestly like it. It looks it looks good. Um, the I don't know. I don't like CS:GO that much, but from what I'm seeing here, the like the other aspects of it that I guess you can compare to like Overwatch and whatnot. Um, I kind of say they make the game, they make the game a lot more enjoyable for people that aren't really into that CS gold type shooter. Uh, what do you think? What do you think Blitz? Uh, yeah, we said the same thing initially, but I feel the opposite of you. I'm not hyped for it. It looks really, like bro? everything. I, it, it looks like everything. It looks like CS go, which I don't, care to play i've never cared to play and it looks but it also has a lot of the things that i hated about overwatch so i'm i'm not really mm. pumped for it at all what, what were some of the uh, mechanics or things that you hated about overwatch? Uh, the, the the ability like the abilities look very, i wouldn't say similar but they look like they have a strong uh well strong similarities to them um, yeah like this wall right here like we all know what that looks like yeah so it's just i don't know i mean the fact that it looks more like CS:GO more than Overwatch, I'm not all that familiar with CS:GO because I'd never played it, never really cared to, so that was a turnoff to me. Mm. Um, and then just add in Overwatch ability, Overwatch-like abilities, and it's just like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. Plus, if I've learned anything from Overwatch and other team-based shooters, um, 
yeah, they don't really quite work out to me anyway, because I don't really plan on playing. I don't play team based shooters competitively. I just try to have fun and play them casually. This looks like a game that you can't, that eventually is not intended to be playing casually. That's what I see. True, true. Chef, uh, what do you think? Have you seen the uh, gameplay or anything? I have seen the gameplay, actually. Uh, I just saw it five minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> this is a game that did not hit my radar at all. Because I don't even remember this being announced to begin with. But it was like it was earlier this week. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not it's not that it's not that old. But oh yeah. okay. Um. No, I don't. I'm not. I'm not really fucking with it. Because I watch Counter Strike sometimes when it's on uh Twitch and there's nothing else to watch, and it's fun to watch that. But other than that, I don't. It's it's not something that's catching me at all. What the, what is this? What is that shit? What the fuck is that? That orange and green shit? I, I what is that? I don't know. I don't know, man. I, don't I can thing. explain it, it that. Like a health boost. Some type it's of boost. uh, it's like yeah. this thing up. One of the players can do. I forget his name. That looks disgusting. He, yeah, it is disgusting. He can basically spawn a giant wall that like su- yeah. like provides yeah. some yeah. stuff. See what I'm talking about? That's some Overwatch. Did not miss me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm cool. What do you think, Will? From uh, the uh, game trailer. I've been excited for this for a while. I'm really excited that Riot's actually finally stepping up to the plate of uh, Blizzard and backing them down because somebody needed to take their uh, their title away for like the games and stuff that they have. Mm-hmm. So them coming up with like a shooter like this, I'm kind of excited for it, especially since like I tried Overwatch. I like the whole idea behind having different characters that do different things in a game. It adds a different layer to it. It's kind of like mobile-like, but with shooting, which is the whole point. Um, but I really like that type of thing. I used to play TF, uh, TF2 back in the day a little bit. Uh, I was big on uh, Battle Battleborn for a little bit. That was cool. I wish that game actually came out. But uh, yeah, no, I really like. No, it did. Game. It just came out at the same time as Overwatch. Yeah, and it, that was its wow. problem. Yeah. Most definitely. Um, so, it's sad. do y'all think this is a game that, the, like, the I don't want to say the sole purpose of the game is for, like, uh, to go straight into esports? Because um, I could definitely see it, like, being becoming a definitely esports worthy. Um, I mean, if it's anything like CSGO, then I would have fully expected they're going like, to. I feel like they're going to take the same path Overwatch did and try to force esports on it. And then, but the, and they're not gonna let it grow naturally. I don't think that because right, I feel like they have more uh, experience with like esports than a lot of people, especially at Blizzard. Even though they had StarCraft and shit like that, but Riot has like the League of Legends esports scene, which is arguably one of the biggest ones, bigger even than CS:GO. For le- like League of Legends is a big game. <laughs> Even if you don't like it, like you know what it is, and you've probably seen gameplay of it. So like they'll, yeah. they're really, yeah, they're they're most likely gonna not force it. That's what they did with League. I feel like they're probably gonna keep that same formula. I mean, well, that's probably true. You'd probably know more than I would, since I really don't follow uh, League or any other game that Riot makes. But uh, I'm more interested to see their fighting game that they're making because they oh, yeah. used that alongside this uh, last summer. And uh, I'm more interested to see about that. That's more up my alley. They bought a whole fighting game company for that, like a whole company that was. They were already working on a game, and they just pushed it aside just to work on theirs. Yeah, so I'm more excited about the fighting game joint. This y'all can have if it, if it's fun, great. But I, I'm not gonna be on it. I'm not checking for it. You not rocking? Uh. Nah. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it for for Valorant. Um, honestly, I'll I'll give it a try. Uh, they have like a. Did they say when the next round of information is coming out, like a beta or next showcase um, or something? Let's see. No, not in the uh, not in this video. Let me check the Twitter. Mm. Um, it is not. Say... It just, yeah, it doesn't say. It just says summer twenty. Okay. Oh, I right. see. Yeah. So, Honestly, I don't think this game is going to last that long anyway. I mean, I can't, I don't know, I can't say that for sure. It's just not something I'm... It's, what did you, you, your mic cut out? Whose? Yours, when you were talking. That's funny, because I said the end of my sentence. Oh. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not much to it to be honest. It's just, it's just a wait and see. Yeah. So, but yeah, unless I don't know what it would take for my opinion to change to make me excited to play this game. I don't know. I mean, it's, other than playing it, I don't know. Yeah, because the fact that it's, it looks like CS:GO meets Overwatch, it's just the fact that it looks more like CS:GO than anything else is like oh, that's a turn off for me. So I love that part about it, though. That's crazy. no, and, and that's fine. It's just I yeah, never yeah, played yeah. CS:GO, never been interested to play it, and so I'm not interested to play a game that looks like it. So. That's all. I feel it. I'm um, excited to see where they bring this, but that, I'm gonna just end it there. Honestly, I'm excited to see like what the the scene will look like for just the different people playing it. And the, I mean, if the Discord the gets on it, it'll be another it'll be another game for uh, Vince and RL to be raging and be toxic in another game for that. Pretty, I'll be funny. <laughs> pretty much. It's gonna be greatness. Yeah. Um, I'll be I'll be there for that content, but I'm not gonna be on the game myself. Yeah. So. Moving on to, I guess, a, a more talkative topic. <laughs> um, Death Stranding PC release date for June. Now, <laughs> I... <laughs> why <are> you laughing? <laughs> I, I didn't think it was going to hit so soon. I honestly didn't think it, because I think, was it, it might have been a different game, but didn't they say, like, it was going to hit, like, sometime, because when did, when did Death Stranding originally come out? It came out last August. Came out August. Was it August? August September? When did it come out? Was it? I don't think it was that. Was it that long? Was it not that long ago? It seems like it was. Was it one of the first? No, it came out before Christmas, didn't it? it last November? Christmas. Yeah, it November? came out in November. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So it it came out late 2019. Okay. I feel like that's still kind of soon for a PC uh, release date. That's what I'm saying. I didn't think we see a PC version for like at least another year. Yeah. I mean, hey, more than Mario, I guess. Um, but there were there were rumors up and leading up into uh, the original release on PS4 that there was going to be a PC version at some point. So we knew, I guess, we knew this was coming. Just didn't think it'd be so soon. Yeah, I'd, I heard the rumors about it as well. I didn't think it was going to be so soon. Um, this makes me about like any of the other releases that PlayStation's going to have, because if they're going to be releasing things this fast, that was only exclusive to their platform to PC, we might be able to get games like The Last of Us 4. But what would be, be another example? Like The Last of Us 2, for example, like from Naughty Dog, like Naughty Dog games, if they come out with another uh, Uncharted series, like if they reboot that series, I like how they, they did Modern Warfare. I hope they don't, but who knows? Uh, they, are, they just put uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I think, on Steam. I forget Did what they? platform you put it on. Yeah, I think I, so. I think I remember that. Is it on? So, the, I think it's coming to Steam. Yeah, I don't, it's coming. I, yeah. I don't. I don't think it's out yet. Cause I'll def I didn't beat that game. I, I'd buy it on PC. Hell yeah, I would. That game would look beautiful on PC. But things like that, it's really looking good to be a PC uh PC player. They made another Senran Kagura game. Jesus. I don't mind waiting for games if they're gonna come out well. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm PC still. That's why I'm still nice. Uh, I'll definitely wait. Yeah, and that's why I'm still conflicted about uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I know we'll talk about that a little bit later, but I don't know what to do about that game because that's supposed to hit PC at some point. It'll be on PS4 for a little bit and PS5 eventually, but I'd imagine it's going to hit PC soon thereafter. So I don't yeah. know what to do about that either. So. Yeah. It, but yeah, it it's definitely a conflicting um topic just in terms of what to get and if you want to what behooves you it behooves you to get a pc if you like if you're on the fence about getting a pc or the next generation console oh, what's yeah, stopping P you to get a pc yeah i was like there's nothing really there's not really a there's a no excuse con. at this point yeah there's not really a con to, to buying a pc at this point because it's literally the master race so i mean what how can you go wrong with that i mean it's it's a lot more accessible than it was 10 years ago even five years ago Oh, most definitely. Like, yeah, pre, like pre builds, I feel like have gotten a little less extreme on pricing. Like, I've seen, like, I'll go on the pre built websites just to see every once in a while, just in case somebody asks me for like a recommendation. I can give them like a good cheap pre build to get, like, either on a PC part picker list. That's what I would do, and I would help them build it. But now I can just go to like Cyber Power and they'll have like $600 ones. And that's basically how much the next consoles are going to be. 
So more like, or less, yeah. Yeah, so it's like you might as well just get a PC if all these get Xbox are already committed to giving us the games that they're already going to get. So this is just PlayStation following suit. Yep, for sure. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about uh, Valorant or whatever it's called. Um, the PC specs for that are pretty are. Oh very yeah, I heard. Easy I heard on the eyes. Oh yeah. yeah, I was going to say that, that but I didn't know we had more. I, we, we were running out of time. That oh, is no. going to be the most exciting part about it. The net yeah. code on the game is going to be um, holy crap. Yeah, because I think what is uh, what does it say? Like to run 144 plus frames. And... Mm -hmm. Is he, all you need is like an i3 and like you four gigs of RAM. Yep. <laughs> you need a damn iPhone to run that game. <laughs> and a they 1050 are, Ti. That's all you need. They are promising something amazing. Do you like what? So uh, nothing else. The game will be optimized. But, oh, you know, holy! So, so that's I mean, nice. That, that, shit, an optimized game is better than an unoptimized game. So I can't really, yeah. can't really get uh, for that. Yeah, but, but back to Death Stranding. Um. Are y'all hyped for the Half Life crossover nope. shit they're doing? No, nope, not at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought I thought it was because cool, yeah, I'm not the buy uh, a game for the it. headline. I think I don't know if it was Gamespot or PC Gamer. The headline that they put up was kind of misleading because it would make you think that it was like a content crossover, like there would be like some DLC content with Half Life crossover, but nah, it's just like a skin or some shit. Yeah. Oh, so, that's it. I think so. Oh, Something like that's all. <laughs> It looks My cool, thing though. is, I would never even get this game. Like, I don't like. I've seen gameplay of it. It's, it's cool not, to watch. It's cool to watch. Yeah, but it's just not my type of game. Like, I wouldn't sit here and play this. I wouldn't waste my money on this. Oh, well, this is a game that I would put on. This is a on movie. TV yeah. to, like fold clothes to, bro. Like, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, I'm doing something else while I'm watching somebody play this, like lyric or something. Like, oh, yeah, I'm not really well, like watching it. I'm just. No. Well, you notice after the first couple days it came out when everyone was streaming it, and then it you didn't hear shit about it afterwards. That tells yeah, that you about flunked, it. You know? that tells you the kind of impact the game had for all yeah, the I Kojima stands yeah, that are out there. Watching the movie. I mean, uh, see, it is a movie. <laughs> it's a good concept, but yeah, it's just like not as an interactive oh, game to play. I'm not watching the streamer bro? just walk across the, the plains for about an the hour. I'm not trying to watch UPS Simulator, bro. You hear me? Like, what are you doing? I don't. I smack. Don't care. I, I see. Out like I don't think. Not to say that it's a bad game. It's just not something that appeals to me. But the fact that PT died for this is what makes me extra salty. Because I mean, PT was about to be some otherworldly shit when it came to but, horror games, too. What's sad about that is it's not even Kojima's fault. It's not, but I, that, I'm just mad at the situation. I'm salty yeah. at the situation that PT died for this game. I also think he rushed this, but even if this was rushed, like just out of like to make it out of spite, it is still not like like terrible. Like the game was good. It but tells just, an interesting story. Yeah. But like I said, it's, it's, I feel like it would fit better as a movie than in a game. I feel yeah. like if we gave Kojima enough, like the time that he has now to work He'll on make another like game, another Metal yeah. Gear Solid. Uh, Metal yeah, Gear yeah, Solid. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to be nuts. I actually am excited to see what he drops. Yo, he better drop some heat, bro. Because I, mean, I need like another game that gives me that Metal Gear Solid feel. Because Phantom Pain was fucking amazing. It was a good game. Your fire is new. But um definitely moving on to more exciting news. Uh we have the Final <laughs> Fantasy Okay, this shit's loud. Final Fantasy um seven demo. Me and Blitz played it. We were trying to get or at least I was trying to get some gameplay before the podcast, but fortunately that ain't happened because PS4 would act stupid. But we do have some gameplay up on the screen right now. Shout out MK Ice and Fire. They'll be putting out dope trailers and shit. Yes, yes. I was just about to shout them out. Um, so, got their gameplay up on the stream. Uh, same gameplay that we played. So, Blitz, going into Final Fantasy, um, could you, have you played any of the other Final Fantasies? The only other one I've played is the city on the PSP. That's not a proper Final Fantasy game or like a mainline game. So, but out of the, the mainline games, no, I've never played one. Okay. So going into like technically your first uh, Final Fantasy game, what were what were some of the things that caught your eye? Um, it's funny because we were talking about it yesterday. Like I was thinking like 
because I downloaded it and I was thinking I had to force myself to play this because I was in the middle of doing other stuff, you know. That nigga saw her flower. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was carrying a box. Chill out. Uh, but no, it's like I was forced. I was like, I do want to play it, but I don't want to like go. Through, I don't want to be bothered to turn on my PS4 and play this shit. So, but eventually, I like I quote unquote forced myself to play it, and um, it's cool. I like I like I'm fucking with it. Um, the thing that jumped out to me first was it. it it's a good looking game by by this all shit means. Is beautiful. It, it's it's beautiful. pretty sharp, and I have a and I have a base PS4. I do. So too. I don't have. So I don't have a I don't have the advantage of like the pro or anything like that, but even on a base PS4, the game is sh- sharp for sure. Um, second of all, um, with a lot of Square Enix games, the music is great. I definitely fuck with the music. They've did a really good job. Like some of the um, since I've since Final Fantasy VII has been around for so long, I, you can't help as a gamer like hearing some of the tunes. Like you recognize, oh, this is from Final Fantasy VII. I know this. I know this uh, track. And they did a really good job in this game uh, with the, with the remastering a lot of the score in the original game. So like, I definitely mess with the score in this game a lot. So those are the big two things that jumped out to me. Um, speaking of just things that uh were that caught your eye, what are some I guess I don't want to say bad things, but what are some things that you kind of were like, oh, uh, I don't really I don't really like this, <laughs> or that you had a problem with? Um. I guess I'll touch on the gameplay a little bit. Um, for the most part, I was fucking with the gameplay. The only thing that was kind of wonky to me was the whole uh, command menu thing. Like you know, when you're like uh, when you press L2 or R2, and you can issue um, your allies commands, or you can like pop a, a potion or something, or a spell or something. Yeah, I didn't. Um, I didn't even bother doing that. Yeah, was... yeah, it does because that's kind of like the more in line with the traditional way to play this game since it was originally it was turn-based. Um, so what it does in this game is, like, you'll be in the middle of action, and then you can press L2 or R2 to bring up a command menu, and you can issue commands to your allies or bring up a potion or something for yourself, and it slows the game down. So, like, time is still moving, but it slows it, like, to a crawl. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you're in the middle of, like, say you're in the middle of doing, like, a combo or something, and then you get hit, and, like, oh, shit, I'm low on health. Let me hit R2 so I can, you know, hit my potion... Um, that was a little, it, it, it kind of slowed the momentum down for me as far as gameplay goes. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure, um, you can hot, you can, uh, hot key a lot of, uh, the spells and the items and abilities and stuff to different buttons. Cause I saw the opportunity to do it. And I can, I think that's the one major complaint I have with this game is like, it didn't really give you the opportunity to like play around with the menus to get acclimated to everything. Um, because, yeah, like I said, like when I would be hitting the command menus in the middle of a fight, it would kind of take the momentum away from me a little bit, and I'd have to get back into the groove of it. Um, but I know you can hotkey, because I did it on accident once, um, and I didn't really get – you don't really get enough time to to kind of mess with the menus and customize everything you want it to be. Because you're not, you're not in um, – you can't bring up the menus unless you're in battle, which means there has to be an enemy in front of you already. So that's the only – that's the only – major complaint I have with the with the demo and hopefully it gets touched up in the game where you can play around with the stuff a little bit and you don't have to be in battle first. What what type of sit what sense does that make? I Yeah, I don't yeah, let's see like see right there, like you see how he's in the middle of just uh, hit an enemy and then he had to bring up that menu. You can't bring up that menu unless you're in a fight. So unless there's enemies in front of you, you're not gonna go into battle stance. So it, that's yeah. that's the only that's the only negative I see from a gameplay perspective, but other than that, the gameplay is solid. Like like I said, I'm more of a fan of like that that dynamic uh, uh, gameplay. Like not hack and slash, but you're in the middle. You're in more control mm-hmm. more than you are in turn based. So I was a fan. So that's what had me excited when they first revealed that it was going to be uh, the gameplay was going to be handled that way. Um, but yeah, that's just the only thing is like you can't access your command menus unless. Uh, you're in unless you they call it RPGs are commonly called encounters. So unless you're in an encounter, you can't access your command menu. Yeah. So may help maybe maybe that's something they address for the full game. But yeah, that that'd be my only negative I had for this game. Hmm. Doesn't a uh, DMC five have a similar like gameplay style to this? Couldn't they? It's just... very similar to this. So like, couldn't they just? Uh, I wouldn't say. Mimic, if, well, if any, well, if anything, DMC. Yeah, if anything, this game took this because DMC yeah, kind of yeah. pioneered this style. So, um, 
yeah, they, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they they'll implement that in the full release. Because yeah, like I said, like unless you're in the middle of a fight already, you can't access your menu, your command menus. That that was another. Um, that was a good point Blitz brought up because I feel the same way on that. Just like it, it kind of disrupted the flow of things, especially um, if you got to the like I guess the boss battle. Um, yeah. The, the scorpion uh, tank, like. Yep. Definitely that. I died a couple times and it was like, yo, like what? Uh, it was kind of. I don't want to say misleading, but it was definitely like off-putting how the the it disrupted the flow of things where it's like okay it's it's almost feel like it's giving you a, a false sense of freedom just in terms of like yeah movement and attacks because it's like all right like oh you can do this this and this but you still have to like go this way about it i think a really good example is um particularly just for cloud barrett not so much um for a cloud in particular, uh, so you know when you press triangle, you go into um, what's that called? Um, uh, Punisher mode. Yeah. Or whatever. So like you're in like um, when you press triangle, you go into this mode to where like you, you can par- heavy you attacks. can par- you can do heavy attacks, and you can also he automatically parries enemy attacks. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, you can't dodge, and you move very slowly when you're in that mode. So you have to, in order to come out of it, you have to hit triangle again, go back into your regular stance, and you're locked into that animation. You can't come out of it once you hit triangle. So. I mean that 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 to me it's just seemed kind of clunky, at least for Cloud in particular. Maybe it'll be fleshed out in the full game, and then or maybe for other characters it won't be as disruptive. But yeah, you're right. It did kind of give you that false sense of freedom to like, oh, because you would think that oh, I'm in Punisher mode, I can I can still dodge if I'm about to get shot at or something yeah. like that. But no, you have to come out of Punisher mode before you can dodge. He yeah. just moves real slow, like he can't really do much except heavy attack in that stance. So. And, like, I, I get that, like, for, I guess for some mechanics where it's like, all right, you have this uh, mechanic where it's, it, it diverts from the, the base state of your character, just speaking about, like, the, the Punisher mode, like, okay, uh, you're able to do heavy attacks and deal a lot more damage, but um, for that, we sacrifice your speed. And, like, okay, I, I get that, but also at the same time, you need to have mechanics in the game where it doesn't, like, punish you heavily for choosing that um that method of attacking whatever character or whatever um enemy type and i definitely with the tank boss like i feel like i was being like severely punished and i had to like continuously switch back and forth between characters just because oh you need to do a lightning attack all right now fire is the best attack to get the shields down like right well i think it's not go finish your thought. No, no, no. Go ahead. I was going to Well, I think no, because I was say I think what the I the intent behind at least for that for Cloud's two stances. I think the intent for that is to be a little bit more tactical, where you can't just like alternately. You can't take it like a, a Devil May Cry or a Bayonetta, where you're constantly flipping between stances mm-hmm. and racking up combos and stuff. Like you can kind of do that in the regular mode, but I think depending on the situation that you're in, Punisher mode might be a better way to approach an enemy. So I feel like the intent behind that was to be a little bit more tactical with it. You can't just mindlessly, maybe not mindlessly, but you can't just like flip back and forth between the two all willy nilly. Otherwise, you will get punished for it, yeah. especially with like harder hitting enemies that'll probably be later on in the game. So yeah, oh, maybe there's uh, different modes as well, or like different uh, something along the lines of Punisher mode. I don't what know. did uh, what did you think about uh, controlling Barrett? What did Yo, you think about his gameplay? Uh, I you, feel you like wasn't he, feeling it? I really wasn't feeling his game. <laughs> like, it's, I feel like he's a, among one of the weaker characters. I don't I don't know what the other characters are going to be like, but I feel like he's probably going to be like the weakest one. I'm disappointed Tifa's not in this joint. I wanted to play with her the most. I want man with that, hey, uh, man. that fighting game style look. That dog Brad. ugly as fuck, too. Um, <laughs> I wanted to play Tifa and just be throwing out Shoryukens all over the place, yeah. All right, key. Um, but yeah, Barrett's gameplay seemed, seemed kind of clunky to me. It was very like, clunky, especially especially like with enemies that are like higher up, like if they're on elevation and you're Yo, locked on. The camera angles. The camera angles. They need, camera to, fix was the fucked. Camera angles. They need yeah, to fix the yeah. camera angles. Like, because even like I was forcing that right stick to try and move up so I can fully see what I'm shooting at. Yeah. And this, that another thing too, the lock on is very, very janky. 
Um, yeah. Just in terms of like, all right, you know, you literally set the speed of the enemy type, so I feel like you should. It, 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 I don't. It should be not even hard to, or not even like. The camera shouldn't be actively fighting you. Yeah, the camera shouldn't be going Wonder. against you. The camera should be honestly, the camera should be locked on the enemy type. And it, I feel like it's not even locked on the enemy type. I feel like it's locked on in the direction of um, the player. Yeah. Like that in itself shouldn't be a thing. So I mean, yeah. they definitely need to. Fix I mean, that as this well. is this is still a demo. Oh um, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not saying this is a bad game. I'm just I'm I'm literally no, just it's, critiquing it. So. Yeah, yeah. It's just a couple things that uh, could make it better. Hopefully, they clean up before April. I mean, yeah, they definitely have a whole month to do this. I had to just look up the release date real quick. They have a whole month. I'm pretty it was sure it's supposed like, to be out the... by now. Yeah, I'm glad it was they supposed to come it... out yesterday. I'm glad Originally. they pushed it back because yeah. they definitely needed it, and you can tell that they made a lot of improvements from what it probably was. So, with this, we can see what they can do within a month. It's just a couple debugs that they need to do. It shouldn't be too much, and hopefully, all that gets fixed. Yeah, just clean up your combat menus um, so that way it's not taken away from the flow of gameplay when you're in the middle of a fight. Allow players to access it when they're... Make it a lot more smoother. Make, make it smoother. No, well, I'd pri if of the two, I'd prioritize being able to access it when you're not in battle. Because the, the fact that I can't get to it at all, like I have to wait until an enemy runs up on me before I can figure out what to do, that takes away again from the flow and momentum of gameplay yeah um you, you can clean that up clean up the camera and the auto lock on and that stuff um i think it's good because overall I, I am fucking with the gameplay oh most definitely most definitely most like definitely. from a lore standpoint i couldn't tell you like i know of final fantasy 7 just because it's been around for so long and i get the overall gist of the story and the lore but i'll pass like general ideas i couldn't tell you shit about it but the gameplay has my attention and overall i'm fucking with it yeah I'd, i'll definitely like Look into the uh, lore of it as well, because it it is a interesting uh, story and it has interesting dynamics in the game. Yeah. So. And I do appreciate, for the most part, again, just kind of going back to story and stuff. For the most part, I think they've stayed. From what I've seen, at least in this demo, they've stayed true to how the characters originally were in the original game, because a lot of I noticed a lot of people were making fun of uh, Barrett's like personality and his demeanor. It was like it's a stereotypical that, black dude. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. I mean that's, but in the original game, that's kind of how he was. Because uh, I know this much, he was based on Mr. T, so that's kind of how his character is. So, like, I'm, I don't really have a problem with that. Well, I didn't know that, so you explain it. It's more so like yeah, the fact so he's loud and boisterous, and he sounds like a yeah. When he's talking, I'll say to the like a cone, but he's yeah. talking to the elevator. I'm like, bro, shut up, you know? Yeah, that I mean, he's like that in the original game, even though it didn't have voice acting, but that's kind of how his personality was made out to be, so. I appreciate that, so, for, so far, from what we've seen, they're staying true to the original design of the characters, so I don't have a problem with that, so. Is this coming to PC? Eventually. Yes. That's what I was saying earlier. I don't know what, like, I have this pre-order for PS4 right now, but it's like, should I wait for PS5, or should I wait for PC? Like, well, I would, I would do it on PC. PC. It's coming to Xbox eventually too, because remember, like four years ago when this got revealed, it said play first on PlayStation Four. So, no, oh, if it's coming to Xbox, then it's coming to the Game Pass as well, right? I'd imagine so. So it's only it's this is only a time exclusive for PlayStation. So, hmm. yeah. hopefully they could get ray tracing. That would look beautiful. Because yeah. this would look this because like I said, this it looks already looks fire already. Base, PS4. Yeah, this would look great on PC. Man, so. I get this motherboard. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> my shit will be pushing. So yeah, overall, I'm fucking with it. Um, I don't have any emotional attachment to this game like a lot of people do. I'm not fangasming over over it, but I'm fucking with it. So yeah, definitely, definitely, um, keeping this in my radar. Probably, cause this is coming out before like all the heavy hitters, right? Yeah, coming out in April. I bet, yeah. The only other major release is uh, Resident Evil 3 that I can think of right now in April. So, yeah. Definitely keep this on my radar. Um, it's coming out in April, as Blitz said. So, if you are messing... If you... If you fuck it. If, you, if you're fucking with the, the content, right? If you're fucking with the gameplay. If you're fucking with the, can, the mechanics that we just said. And pretty much... Just the characters from seeing it. If you are a Final Fantasy VII um, fanboy, fangirl, 
I would say cop it. Even if you don't, if you're new to the series like me, I would say cop it. It's a good it. introduction good to it. It's definitely, so. a, yeah, definitely a good introduction as well. So even though a lot of Final Fantasy stands will say there are better games than this one, but I feel like they're just being hipsters about it. So. I mean, listen. But, oh, eight is better. Six is better. You like, and all this play other stuff. whatever game you want. All I'm saying yeah. is, for me, me being new to the Final Fantasy uh, collection, yo, I like this game, and I would recommend it. That's all I'm saying. Still so, waiting on Vincent Valentine, by the way. Just yo, saying. that nigga look old. But we're not, we not even going to talk about that. But, Hopefully soon. Yeah. So, uh, Chef or Will, did you have anything else to say about the Final Fantasy VII Remake gameplay? Uh, I didn't get the chance to play it because I uh didn't go download play. it, bro. Sector, yeah. I mean, uh, Sector, Chef, why, <laughs> why aren't you uh play it? Another game that's not really catching my attention anymore. Ah, it looks interesting, but gotcha. I don't feel like really, you know, what I'm saying going to the PS4 to download it. See, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's like I, I downloaded do this shit. I don't want to be bothered to turn it on. I want to put it on PC, bro. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. That's what it was for me. Like, I didn't feel like updating my PS4 and all that other stuff. So, and it probably didn't even have the space for it, but I could just delete something. But that, even then, that would take a while. I don't time. think it's that big, though. It wasn't? I don't think so. It didn't take that long for me to download. Oh, that's cool, then. Yeah, I'll think about it. I mean, I'm if you're interested, I mean, it's a good st- it's a good starting point if you're trying to get into Final Fantasy. Well, it, exactly. I think it's going to be a good game, period, even if... It's not just going to be a good Final Fantasy game. It's going to be a good game, period, I think. so. Just a couple things to clean up gameplay-wise, and it'd be good. Most definitely. Alright, so moving on to the next topic. We have the coronavirus. Oh, the bubonic plague, too? Striking fear in the hearts of gamers. We're all going to die, you guys. This is the end right here. No, no. Yep. If y'all if y'all listen to the news, Nemesis is gonna be walking around about six months, bro. That's how bad this oh, shit is. Fuck. Yeah, I'm staying inside. Fuck that shit. Holy shit. We're all gonna die. But yeah, um, despite coronavirus um scares and I guess I don't I don't even say like outbreaks, but cases uh more cases popping up in the U.S. E3 2020 is still moving ahead full speed. Despite the the hoopla about the coronavirus now there were some companies that pulled out due to the coronavirus in previous conventions and i think there was i think it was the games uh game developers convention yeah gdc that... i think G- did didn't gdc get canceled outright because of this yeah there's yeah. A, there's cases in san francisco done. and gdc's in san francisco yeah. yeah they said they were done they said they were done yeah, oh, so, they postponed uh, it. They postponed it. It got po- yeah, it got postponed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, GDC got postponed. Uh, a lot of companies pulled out of PAX East, as we talked about uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, E3 says yeah, we're still gonna the show must go on because honestly, to me, I feel like they can't afford to cancel this shit. Yeah, because they, E3s are already on life support kind of. I was so. just about to say that. I was like, yo, uh, PlayStation pulled out one of their biggest like, I guess attractors. Um. And now they can't afford to lose anything else, really. Even though they're they're, we all have said it. They're on the downfall, and this is just gonna continue to go down from your from here. But, um, they're gonna continue to attempt to survive. So, they can't really risk it. Now they did say like, okay, even though we're continuing with it, we're still keeping an eye on the situation. So yeah, like there's gonna be like hand said, sanitizers at every corner. Um, there's gonna be people walking around with hand sanitizer. So first of all, wash your hands, yo, people. P- please, honestly, wash your hands and wash your ass, please. I please. I don't understand why people in 2020 don't know how to wash their hands and need to be told on the goddamn that, internet that you by, need to by wash the, your hands yeah, that for your, longer your, than 30 your, seconds. Your place of work has to tell you how to wash your hands properly, bro. How old are you? Like, we grown ass adults out here don't know how to wash their hands or just, just don't do it. Period. Not oh, covering yeah, the goddamn period. mouth. No, it's honestly, ridiculous. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I never thought of washing my hands before I used the bathroom until you and RL talked about it uh, yesterday. Yeah, nah, I thought about that too, and I I hopped on the nah, way. I've been, yeah, I've been doing it today. I did it today. I was like, hmm, okay, I'm feeling a difference. <laughs> um, but well, yeah, I got no choice but to do it because the computers I work on tend to be, you know. 
dusty and dirty, so. Yeah. But I ain't no choice but to wash my hands beforehand. Yes. So please, 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 please continue to wash your hands. And if you are going to any conference or any major gathering of some sort, whatever, it doesn't even have to be about gaming. Yeah, just be clean. And honestly, just, I don't even want to say, like, keep your distance, but just be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of, like, niggas that are actually coughing. Um, now, I'm not saying be prejudiced about it, but still, be aware of... Um, just be smart, yo. Yeah, just be smart. Just be smart about how you move. Um, and for the people that are sick, stay your ass inside, bruh. Nobody want that. Don't be coughing on... Yo, I saw the video of them coughing on the uh, elevator buttons. Yo, that is nasty. Wait, what? Was they intentionally coughing yes, on the buttons? Yes, yes. They were, like, coughing in tissues and, like, wiping it on the um. Where's that? Where's this at? Uh, I have to look it up, but... Most people should be shot. Uh, man... It was like literally a group of them. They were just all just coughing totally. in the elevator, bro. Like I, I have never seen such vulgar acts of violence in my life. <laughs> that's that's low low key. Um, fuck I'm you get I killed out here. Yeah, I was like, that's that's a form of terrorism to be honest. That's a biohazard. This we're gonna be nemesis down here, bro. Yo, I'm not trying to see a nigga, like, jump past the corner while I'm trying to get a... Trying to go to the bodega, bruh. Please. None of that. Um, what were you about to say, though, Will? You about to say something? Uh, I... No, I'm looking up what you're talking about right now. Um, yeah. So... I mean, like this... I said, at the end of the day, the show must go on because E3 is still going. I think Evo said they're still they're still uh, going to be yeah. it's still full steam ahead for Evo. Um, but obviously, any convention is going to be like a breeding ground for germs, even if it's not flu season. Um, I mean, personal my my personal feelings aside, personally, I think this is just a lot of hype. It's like this is just the new flu. I, this is what we're going to be looking at for like the rest of eternity. You know? It's going to be a new mutation of some kind of disease, of or some variation of it. And there's, it's, unless like shit starts moving, like at an exponential rate, like niggas start getting sick or start dropping like flies, because that's what the media wants you to believe is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Unless this actually starts happening, I mean, just it's business, business as usual. But obviously, just take care of yourself and be clean, wash your hands, and all that stuff. That's all. Pretty much. So. I can't tell you how many meetings I can't tell you how many of my business meetings uh, for this week got canceled because we were supposed to have people uh, fly up, corporate people fly up from Florida to meet with us face to face, and they and they, can't, and they canceled that shit because of the coronavirus and stuff. Like I get it, people are trying to be cautious and they want to, you know, mitigate contamination, but we still got to handle business, yo. Like, come on. Now. Yeah. So. Still got to live your life. Yeah. That being said, stay clean out here. Um. Be careful, be careful of people around you. Um, if you're sick, stay your ass home, or somebody gonna beat your ass. It ain't gonna be me, cause I ain't touching you. But somebody gonna do it. Another sick person gonna beat your ass there. So next topic. Um, this is kind of sad. This is kind of sad, honestly. Um, G Force, you fucking up. You fucking up. You're not asking permission for publishing. For, for publishers in the games, it's just... I don't know how you'd skip that big of a step when you're trying to put games on your, your, new, your new platform. I don't, I don't understand why. How this even, like, get overlooked. Um, so, streaming service, games are starting to drop, like, hotcakes um, in, in the bad way. So... Cause what was, I think what was what was the first two companies to pull out? Blizzard. I think it was Blizzard. You said Blizzard and Activision. Oh, Blizzard. Yeah, Blizzard, Activision, and Bethesda. Yeah. So already those are those are three heavy hitters that. Two. M- Blizzard and Activision are one. Oh yeah, you're right. Fuck. Yeah, you can count them as one. Yeah. yeah. Bum ass company. <laughs> Fuck them niggas. Um, but. I love Call of Duty. I do too. Um, fuck Blizzard. But those are already two gaming, those are two heavy hitters 
that have dropped out because you didn't take the the pretty much you didn't take the right steps to secure whatever licenses or what I don't know the business um well degrees of it but you didn't do it you didn't do it and, and now yep. it's coming to bite you in the ass well I heard a couple different things I heard that they I don't know I've heard they didn't outright ask certain publishers permission and then others they didn't communicate well with publishers with like exactly how much I I think the dispute was how much uh, money the devs and the publishers are going to be getting by putting the games on GeForce now mm-hmm NVIDIA didn't communicate that directly. So either they outright didn't ask some people or they just really shitty at communicating about it. I think they were just really shitty at communicating about it. That's what I'm thinking. Which sucks because it's a good idea. I mean, personally, mm-hmm. I didn't really have much use for it, but I, it's still a good service. So, Yeah. I like. I was looking forward to using its services, but... Um... I mean, Depending what, what games, games are you gonna? What game, the game? What games are we gonna use for? They might still be there. Um, I had a look. I was just gonna try whatever did, I can. Did Ubisoft know. pull out yet? No. I, not that we know of. I don't think so. I didn't hear anything about Ubisoft pulling out. Um. But yeah, just I don't <laughs> I don't want to see any I don't want to see any more games to pull out of um G Four stuff because like. It's better than they Stadia. Got fucking bitch ass Stadia trying to. I don't know. They're not even like running the game. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they. G Force has a lot more potential than Stadia. I would just say that in the least. So. Oh, trust me, Stadia. They they got they got the uh, they got the ideas. Say that again, Chef. I said Stadia has their ideas. Trust. But. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Leave him alone, yeah. move on, yeah, moving on um <laughs> moving on to Fuck no. um happier news for chef mm. yo borderlands 3 bro this content drop this they got the roadmap up news? yo you know fuck with it bro no but, all right, all right. For the people that don't play Borderlands 3, explain explain what this roadmap is is uh, telling us here. Should it should have been the game off rip. Hmm. Absolutely. See, look, Borderlands 2 dropped and had mad content in it. Borderlands 3 dropped and had no content in it. Mm-hmm. And plus, they mayhem mode was ridiculously stupid. And the game kept crashing. Right. I had to buy the shit twice, and it still was whack. But this uh, roadmap is just them adding content. Is it? That's it. Like, what's what's the uh, what's the mayhem mode 2.0? Like, what is what is mayhem mode actually? Oh, mayhem mode is just them adding modifiers to the game, as in extra damage, <laughs> extra damage taken. That's pretty much it. Oh, certain <laughs> certain weapon uh uh some shits called elements don't work well against some enemies and all of that. It really was a bad, it really was a, it was a good idea, but it was poorly executed because when you hear mayhem mode, you think of, uh, something that's fun and not, can, can you do mayhem, you. can you do mayhem mode on top of true vault hunter mode or is it, is this, the, this game's version of true vault hunter? Mode? I, I can't remember. I just know <laughs> that it was, it was, it was a redundant thing. Cause once you went into mayhem mode, there was no purpose of going up to true vault hunter mode. Hmm. So, I know, yeah. yeah, that was the thing about Mayhem Mode. It was like, what's the point of even going through the game again if Mayhem Mode is gonna be better? Hmm. But yeah, as far as that goes, this game of the year or Mayhem Mode edition, whatever, get that. Don't buy the game when it comes to Steam at all, <laughs> unless it's on sale for good price. But so, what's, again, what's a good price for you, sir? A good price for me? Yeah. 25. 25 for Borderlands Base game, 25. Hmm. I, I honestly thought you would go lower, but... Nah. I mean, it's, it's it's still a fun game, but it just wasn't as fun as I wanted it to be, so... I feel that, man. At all. At all. <laughs> Damn. It wasn't nearly as fun as 2 for me. Nah. Because, like I said, I had, I had fun with the base game of 2 when it first released. No issues at all. 
and I was hungering for the uh, DLC for two. And they did they delivered actually on all four packs. So I mean they do they were doing something right. Especially with the Tiny Tina pack. God damn that was a good pack. <laughs> Feel me? I don't forget to that sure. part yet. But uh I can only um I can only imagine Chef. So damn, I can't spell. Um so moving on to a, a <laughs> Fuck this. Uh, Dead or Alive 6. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I thought, I thought this was going to be funny. Oh, uh, damn. Yo. Woo! Y'all Dead or Alive people, y'all getting sucked for y'all money. Hold pause. Um, and some, and, no, no pause. They they keep, they really, they uh, willingly taking it. They are draining your yo, wallet. They it's are ridiculous. draining the hell out of your wallet. Yo, Jesus They said, Christ. what's in your wallet? All of it. Man. Yeah, yeah this is, uh, this is some this is some uh some trashy shit let me tell you and dead or alive is notorious for this already for like ex ridiculously expensive costume packs and all that shit but this takes it to a whole new level bro this is this is uh this is some 2k shit honestly didn't they charge you for hairstyles in the last 2k yeah i i can tell they, you uh they uh backpedaled that shit early too yeah you have to pay mad money to get a damn haircut like you know yeah <laughs> virtual game Yep. So basically what this is, so Dead or Alive 6. So um, as you may know, um, it's a fighting game, but TNA is where is what is his claim to fame, right? So you can customize your characters uh, with different hairstyles, different costumes and whatnot. And I already talked about the uh, expensive ass costume packs and outfits and shit. But in the past, you would always be able to unlock different hairstyles by using in-game by using in-game currency, which you earn just by playing the game, right? That was in past games. Now, what they're doing, if you want to change hair colors, hairstyles, for the very low price of $1, you can change your hair color and or style. And say you pay that dollar for that hair color and or style, and you don't like it, and you want to change it back, guess what you got to do? Pay another, pay, another dollar. pay another dollar. Well, technically, they're like tickets. They're called like a premium ticket or some shit that you got to get. Um, off the PlayStation Store, but it costs a dollar. So, but basically, it's a dollar. So, anytime you want to change your uh, your character's hair, your wife whose hair, it's one dollar. You want to change it back because you feel like she should be wearing something different today. That's another dollar. So, yeah. Are you Nuts. gonna keep flip flopping to change shit? Yep. Oh my lord. Every and every time it costs you one ticket each time you want to change something. Fucking tickets. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> and like. Cause when I was talking about this to uh, in the Discord the other day, um, their see their their latest season pass came out like two weeks ago. Guess how much that season pass was for? I don't want to know, bro. Just take a wild guess. Your best guess. Twenty. Try ninety. Ninety. Ninety dollars for a Sarah character pass with like uh, outfit packs, um, and some 90. other shit. That you could probably just get mods for if you're what on PC. What game is this? <laughs> Dead or Alive 6. Yo! These niggas are d <laughs> and, and this is My not the first time they... That this is not the first time they've done it. I think for DOA 5, I think the average price for a costume pack was like 35 bucks. Yo! That was for DOA 5. DOA 6 for like, for like a season pass for like future character releases and costume shits and all that. 90 bucks, bro. That costs more than the base game. And niggas buy this shit. That's why they keep doing it. Somebody's buying it. $90? I'm reading. I'm reading. What? It says that the community initially welcomed it. See? That's why oh, they keep doing didn't... this shit. Who didn't read the fine print? Because now they, cause they, they, they uh, saying after the community realized what it was doing, they didn't like it. Mm-hmm. So how do... I don't what know what they're doing over there at Koei Tecmo where they pull the wool over everybody's eyes so well where no one's seeing. Because like I said, they've been doing this for years. Got to keep paying a dollar. It, it was never, it was never this bad. It was never this bad. I promise you. Because I played the shit out of Dead or Alive Four. I played the shit out of Dead or Alive Five, and the DLC prices for DOA Five were ridiculous. But I pick and chose uh, what I wanted to get, and it was a wrap when I got it on PC because I could just there were mods all over the place. I could just download that shit for free. Um, but yeah, it was never this bad, yo. They never charged you for like hair colors and hairstyles like this. So this is on some other shit. 
So it's like honestly, on this point, like the community, like yeah, the community is more aware of it now. They did ass have to stop playing the game in order for shit to change, but I'm I'm dead. Serious. They have to stop they, playing. They this gotta game. play a uh, Pokemon. Yeah, even though I don't know how successful that was because niggas still pulled up for Sword and Shield and bought that yeah, shit. They, so <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> people ain't do shit. Yeah, well, they're Pokemon people. They're they're easily swayed. But yeah, like no, I'm talking about like some anthem shit where the the whole community just died off. Because this is this is about they've been out of control for a minute. This is some new level shit. I so yo nine ninety dollars for a season pass. Dollars, bro? <laughs> I feel like Mitch would have yeah. bought it low key. Probably. Yeah. Well, he probably would have bought the digital deluxe edition for like a. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, it's it's out of control. Um, I dry, I mean, Chef and I bought DOA six at launch for PC, and that was a disaster. The game wouldn't even fucking launch. Um, shout out to Green Man Gaming at the time who really doesn't issue refunds. They issued refunds this t- for that time. So shout out to them. Um, oh, yeah, they did. Sheesh. But yeah, I, uh, I passed the title screen. Yeah, I mean they fixed it eventually, and then I like I'm looking at my Steam page right now. I got eight hours on it. Um, but yeah, I uh. I've I've dropped this game altogether. Like the only DOA I play now is the Gotcha game, and then I still got five installed, and I still got all my mods for that. So if I want to play a DOA fighting game, I'll just play five. Don't don't buy this shit, people. It's bad, yo. Uh, bro, ninety fucking dollars, bro. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Yeah. On to I, just thought, I, I just thought it was hilarious because yeah, it was never been this ridiculous. For the niggas that buy ninety dollars, bro. Yo. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's buying it. That's why they keep doing this shit. Y'all are tripping. Y'all are tripping. What are they buying this for? The jiggle physics? No, yeah. the jiggle physics are in there at, at no. launch. It's just I know, the, but like... Honestly, because all the season pass is, is just um, obviously you get whatever characters that come out later as DLC, you get those for free. And then you get all the uh, the costume shits. And they do a lot of... You know what it is? They do a lot of crossovers with different animes and shit for costumes and stuff. So, like, they've done, like, um... They've done Attack on Titan. They've done mm. fucking uh, Senran Kagura. They've done a bunch of other anime I can't think of right now. And they have, like, a bunch of outfits that you can get for the characters. Um, mm-hmm. So that's probably what people buy it for. I could probably... You know, I see this... Weaves that don't know no better. Yeah, I see this being, like, a bigger thing in Japan than it is here. But Weebs, like you said, would be all over this. Yeah. Uh, I just don't see the point of spending ninety dollars on this, it, it's out of control. I I never like like I would pick like I said I would pick and choose the DLC I wanted to pay. Yeah, for. like so what the heck? Because I like I said like, we were talking about it earlier. It's like I don't I shouldn't feel bad about paying a company money for a game that I actually like. Yeah. But, so I'll pick and choose. I want to buy, but not yet. Ninety dollars for the whole shit. That's almost Man. twice as much as the original game. So. Yeah. yeah, I just thought it was funny because when I saw this, I laughed out loud. Yo, I was like, "This is out of control." Oh no, that's definitely funny as fuck. Because the... <laughs> nine fucking <laughs> dollars, my nigga. Fucking t- Team Ninja is doing shit like. Well, I don't, I feel like it's not Team Ninja's fault because they're the devs. I feel like this is Koei Tecmo, the publisher, because they're like I said, they, this is nothing new. Like price gouging for DLC like this is nothing new to them. I'm just mad that. Team Ninja is having to waste their time on shit like this, but we could be getting Ninja Gaiden 4, bro. Because I will buy the shit out of Ninja Gaiden 4. And I might buy Neo too, because that's coming out later this month. Yeah. Because these are the same devs. They make Neo and Ninja Gaiden. And I actually, I played the demo for Neo too, and it was pretty cool. I might get it. Dollars. But yeah. But they're wasting time with $90 season passes when they could be making Ninja Gaiden 4. So, that's that's what I'm most upset about. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah chef give your wife a haircut pay a dollar fuck her chef <laughs> yes sir take it away brother I got you you feel me <laughs> it's about time that they ask this some shit that dropped you feel me I can bring back the rapid the rapid fire segment yes the rap yo yo before I even start the shit it's been, yeah, it's been a it's minute, been a a minute. Fire yo shout out chef rapid fire is back um, it's been a hot minute. It's been at least like five podcasts we haven't had the rapid fire. Yeah, because the news has been dry. Yeah, yeah. Game but has been in this uh, little drought stage. 
But finally, something worth Chef's time. I'm happy. Let's get right into it. All right. The first thing is Roll of Champions, of course. One of the uh, fire game. Even though it's an alpha, I'm going to say it's one of the better free-to-play games that's ever been released so far. And it's from Ubisoft, of all people. Yeah. So, uh, For those who may not be familiar, uh, just give a brief synopsis of what Roll of Champions is about. It's a roller derby, but it's more, it's more, uh, it's not over the top, but it's like more flashy. I will say it's like a, it's like an over exaggerated. It's like rugby meets roller derby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause even, even in this game right here, you can air tackle the, the, uh, the ceiling and that's not happening in real life, but, and plus all the tackling you can do to knock the ball out of people's hands, throwing it across the field and all of that. Picking up speed is actually a pretty fun game, for as simple as it sounds. No, was it three v three or four v four? This three v three. Yeah, three v okay. three. Three to it. It reminds me of Rocket League, like yeah. A lot. Especially when I played it for the first time, I was like, "Oh, this is this is beautiful. I like this. I am excited to see where this goes." Just like how Rocket League has its like its sports scene and stuff like that. I'm ex- I'm really excited to see what people do with this game. Because people be juggling in midair in Rocket League and everything like that. This game has a lot of potential to be something like that. Yeah, it was fun when we played. I mean, I wasn't crazy about it, uh, but it was still fun to play. Yeah, especially definitely. with the squad. So yeah, I'll, shit, me and Chef, me Chef and uh, who was it? Me Chef and uh, SSJ. That was a dream yeah, team, Marty. bro. <laughs> Fucking was dream when team. That going off. <laughs> but but uh, it's just a simple concept. They drop you on the map, the ball in the middle of the map and one of the teams has to go take it. Whoever gets it, you just got to keep going around and around in circles and build up. Uh, I forgot what that is called, but it's like a meter. So you got to go around the laps a certain amount of times before you can score. And whoever yeah, the more, the score. more, you oh, go yeah, around, I, I yeah, the now. more, gotcha. the more you go around, the higher the point. Yeah. So if you go around three times, you get, what is that? Five or 10 points? I think it's five. It's five. It's five. It's definitely five. Yeah. So if you go around once, it's one point. Go around twice, it's. Did three. they have air tackle before? No, I think yeah. that's new. That's yeah, new. I thought I think. they did. If they nah. got air tackle, oh, the extended changes. tackle. They had the extended tackle, though, right? Extended tackle, I think, was air tackle. I think is new. Okay. So I'm yeah, drop kicking. I would have remembered Yo, that. Yo, <laughs> drop kicking, man. Catch his blade to your face and get. Team move nice. grapple is a good idea. I like this because it. There's a lot of times where you want to move as a team, and it's really hard because you keep bumping into one another. Yo, yeah, like, what if they I'm have a mechanic? A speed up. What if they yeah. have a mechanic where it's like, all right, all three y'all huddle up, and it's like y'all y'all can't be um air, y'all can only be air tackled. Y'all can't be like extended tackle or like regular tackle. Like a phalanx, do you, like you you can't hit them yeah. from any side on the ground. You have to you have to do an air tackle from there. That'd be nuts, yo. Oh, you can also do the Ricky Bobby Shake and Bake in this game too. Oh yeah, you juke niggas too, man. Yeah. Um, the uh the trailing move where you just ride behind one of your partners and mm-hmm. then speed up once they move away. Yeah. Shit, get crazy. Yo, this game is fine, bro. The game is fire, bro. Definitely yep. fire. So they have a closed alpha coming up soon. You can sign up for it. Matter of fact, uh, I had the link. Where's the link? Put it in the chat. Yeah, definitely uh, put that in there because should be in the YouTube thing. Marty said make it 5v5. I think that would be too much. I feel like you'd have to make the arena bigger. Yeah, most yeah. definitely. Yeah. Because it, it would be a clusterfuck with 5v5. I got the link. Niggas be getting tackled every every three seconds, yo. <laughs> you right there, that's yo, the I remember. That's the, that's the part I remember. Uh, you had, like, the two people that'd be moving for, uh, to score points, and then you had the one nigga one that'd nigga be the enforcer. Is... Yeah. Just the enforcer just running around hitting niggas. Yo, <laughs> that, that, that was, was the, the best part. Part of the game. <laughs> Just Yo, because we will bully people off the game, bro. <laughs> like you just had one person, and you just had everybody else just running back up. Just running everybody else down. running points, and then you got the one nigga playing Ray Lewis just hitting everybody, yo. Yo, he was literally... Chef made someone quit off the game, bro. <laughs> I, kept, I kept going for him intentionally. Like, yeah. Nah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm doing my job, yo. <laughs> yo, if this... Yo, they need to have uh, open chat. No. Nah, no, yes, bro. The, yes, bro. the no toxicity <laughs> of our city. No they need no, to have no. open chat, bro. Nah. And like proximity yeah, chat, no. so like you roll past them, like fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Yippee guy, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> you juke them, like damn, bro, we your ankles, yo, <laughs> yo. They need to have that, bro. They, they need might to have do proximity that. chat. They need to, bro. That'll be a fire idea. All right. Um. 
Next time you want to move to, Chef? Yes, sir. Uh, if you want to become more lazy and live out the outcome of Wally, uh, the Japanese, <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese made a gamer bed, which is in this name. It's self-explanatory. It's a bed with the desk. You can hook up some monitors. I don't know where he has his console hooked up to, at all. It's but, probably not. I, I think I know the picture you're talking about. I think it's not in the shot. Oh, I think it's like it's probably it's probably where his feet are at. Probably yeah. But yeah, basically just a bed, uh, a desk at the the front, not a desk, like a table area at the front. Cup holders, headphone holder. What else they got? Controller holder. It's a whole bunch of other stuff you can. A add controller to. holder. Yeah. That's yeah. I think it's like extra accessories that you can add to the whole thing. Uh, not to mention, what else? Oh, once you lay down, you can hook your phone up to this extended lamp type thing and put your phone on it and have it dangling while you watch something. Is it like Which charging is... or something? No, I think yeah. it's just there hanging off the, whatever that thing is. I think uh, you can also like just plug your charger in while it's on that too. So yeah. like... It's crazy. Yo, if I had that desk, I, yeah, especially since I work from home, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't need to come out of my room, bro. At all. My only question is, does it ha does it only work on a twin size bed? Because like, if you have like a, a king or a queen size bed, like, could you oh, just add the parts to this and then just put it on the side? I think, they I think yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the bed that they sell you and then the extra stuff that you can get as well. Because I visit, when I saw this the first time, I went on their website because uh, uh, you know the guy that makes the streaming backpacks, Gun Run, he no. commented in like, well, he makes streaming backpacks. Shout out to Gun Run. He uh, he posted the link to this. Holy shit, dude! They sell all the parts separately, all of them. So what? like, you can buy that yeah. desk, you can buy that little keyboard stand, you can buy the little rolling thing in the back, you can buy the stuff that's at the back of the bed. I think you can also buy the bean bag. They have a bunch. Of of different other a bunch of different desks in like a sim like ensembles that you can make out of their stuff and they it's like real create like you could get creative with it or you can stick to what they have and this is something that i guess somebody made up and they just took it and used it as their own because this is dope this is really fucking dope. I like the desk though. I don't know about the bed thing because I I can't obviously. I don't I'm like playing. staying in bed that long, to be honest. Yeah, so I can I, I can yeah, do true. that. Plus, I can like I can't play play games like in that position. I have to be sitting up to some extent. Yeah. I like the length of the desk though. Like if I could get like the desk I have now to have it like be that length and it curves around like the corner of the room where I have my desk sitting at, that'd be perfect. See, like that that shit right there, I can't do that yet. And plus, there's ain't no back support, really. Yeah, you gotta lean up and play. It's no back support. Dude. I feel like right. that ain't gonna do. They would have to. They would have to give you like chair. Like they would have to make like some sort of like sitting down chair for that position. Uh, can you just go back up real quick, Kampachi? To the top. Uh, just a little bit. To the part where it's hanging. I think I saw the phone where. Uh, the part where he's talking about his phone just hanging up in the air. Oh yeah. Yeah. I would do that. <laughs> I would do that. Just yeah, because like, I'd be yeah, I'd be having my phone up. It'd, you know how sometimes you'd be real tired in the morning and you damn near drop your phone on your face? Yeah. yeah. Yo, what if that drink unclitches and it's higher up? Yo. It's like, ah! That's a missile. Just, <laughs> just, yeah, just, that like, might oh. draw blood, yo. Like, oh, damn. But yeah, mess. it's interesting, but uh, yeah, I'm not trying I'm not trying to be that lazy. Holy shit. Yeah, that's, that's too much. Now, what, since I'm looking at this picture where he's in the bed like that, is that the same setup or you can like, you can like, transition between the two or you can have like the desk be like a, like a normal desk setup and then you can transition it into like a, a bed setup or something like that yeah that's what i'm saying like, this is like a it, transferable thing that seems like a lot of work i mean i guess it's I like guess. the system that you want to use um you can use it i guess like whatever customize however you want it so. oh it's the bed itself okay gotcha yeah it's hooked I mean, up to his bed right there, because I was thinking maybe like uh like a section of the desk like folds out when you want to like have like your normal like sitting in a chair desk set up, and then if you want to like take it to your bed, there's like a section of the desk that folds in to make it more compact or mm -hmm. something like that. That's what I was thinking, but if it's all the same, then it's cool. But yeah, I, yeah, I can't I can't game in bed. The fuck, I have to be sitting in the chair <laughs> for the back support first of all. I know somebody that games on their bed and he told, like, I asked him, how does he get away with it because of this? 
And he was like, I just stacked all my uh, blankets and pillows behind me so I have back support. And he said it works. And I was like, wow. Yeah, that's probably true. But yeah, that's what I used to do when I was when I didn't have my desk at all. And I was just a console gamer. Yeah, I was never in a position where my bed and my uh, game system were in the same. Well, actually it was. But even then, like I would just get a chair and just put it in, at the foot of my bed and just sit in the chair. So. Yeah. So, I mean. Yeah. How much is this? I want to say a thousand something, but that's not terrible for, uh, for everything that you're getting. Drop a quick stack. Japanese, and I can't read this, so. Uh, Drop a quick yeah. stack for that. It's not that bad. Not I that cannot bad. read none of this. What language is it in? Japanese. Japanese. Oh, Japanese. Uh, you can Google Translate. You got it. Uh, <laughs> Underlay. <laughs> <Undelay. laughs> I don't know why. That was the first thing I thought when he said yeah. that. Yeah, but if it's like a thousand or like twelve hundred or something, that's not terrible. If that's what you want to spend it on, I wouldn't. But that's not terrible. Yeah, it would, it would, I was thinking he's gonna be like two or three k. Won't find. I can see a streamer even buying this dumb shit. Yeah, with donations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, All right. uh, next news is crazy to me. You can get a Tamagotchi in Call of Duty. Yes, yo, my sir. sister ha- loved those things. Uh, in wait, in Modern yeah. Warfare. Yeah. yeah. The fuck. <laughs> they call it a Tamagunchi? Yep. Oh my god, Activision. Uh, All right, I'm so with it. I'm with it though. Just to start things off, I'm gonna just let y'all know the shit is ten dollars. Oh, oh ten. Uh, yes. For what? That's some DOA shit. That is ten dollars oh. to get a virtual Tamagotchi, and the way you keep it alive is kills and kill streaks. You know, I like that. I like that. I that's, like, that's a good. That's a, that's that's a, a cool good idea. idea. Not for ten dollars, though. The fuck? Yeah, not ten dollars. But, but that would it, make me have trash, to keep playing the game all the time, though. And yeah. I would like to take breaks. So, like, does it yeah. stay alive while I'm off the game, or like? I think I think it would. I haven't. I didn't read too much into it, but uh, I think it would. Like, if you're not even online, then yeah, it shouldn't. That'd be stupid if you're offline and the thing dies off, because that because that's how Tamagotchi used to be. Oh, well, yeah, like that. Was my nuts. sister had one, and she had to constantly keep that thing fed and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I'd imagine since it's Call of Duty, like as long as you're on the game, then it'll be active, and then when you turn it off, it's inactive. But, yeah, but if ten dollars, nah, I'm cool. and it dies. So, so you saying bands can't get this then? Hell no. <laughs> Eighteen and seventy-seven oh, had a. Yo, the band slander never stops. So holy shit! Yo. Um, yeah. That nigga trashed the whole. Fuck. Yo, go, hey, but go follow the Twitch channel A Neo Tokyo. Yo, he playing Dragon Ball Fighters right now, trying to be the best he can be. I don't know if it's working, but you know. Hey, he trying though, so I mean, you can't knock him for that. You know? Yo, go support the boy. That's true. That's true. That's true. He getting pieced up by Beerus right now. Oh no! Come on, band's defense. Damn. All right. uh, so yeah, the time I got you. <laughs> Duty. EA, of all people. If that uh, wasn't that expensive, bro, I, I probably. If it was like it. a dollar or yeah, two, I would have copped it. I'd be like, ah, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, not I ten. Five. I found the website for the. You said bed. five? I think five is my five. Five is the most high, the highest. I'll go. I wouldn't pay more than like two. You said what? Well, I found the website for the gaming bed. Mm. Like for all the prices and stuff like that. Uh, um, so what? What are we looking at? So like, for one of them, it was like. 8,000 yen. Like, I'm just, this is just the stuff that it's just in Japanese currency right now. I don't know the conversion for that. Oh, yes. But, that's why I couldn't read that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. If it's 8,000, well, that must be something different because that's only $74. Yeah, it has to be something different. Hold on. Let me check 8, I must be reading that then. Hold up. I mean, 80,000 yen is $745, which seems more correct. Oh, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, here it is. For the desk that I'm looking at right now, it's 25,000 yen. There it is. So I was looking at something completely different. I was looking at the tiny little thing. Huh? That you set your PC 25,000 yen? For yeah, the whole for setup? Desk. No, for I just the desk. the desk. Oh, just the desk? That's $232 USD. Yeah. That's just the desk alone. Uh, That little... uh, Jesus. The thing that hold the little cabinet desk that rolls around to hold your uh, your PC in... That is 13,000 yen. That is $120. And then... So you're probably looking at, what, $500 just for the roll around thing for the PC and the desk itself? Yep. Uh, That's not even... Hold on. That's not even counting, like, the monitor stand and stuff like that. So 
the long monitor arm. How much is that? <laughs> <laughs> Must be great. <laughs> Eleven thousand yen. Some it ranges a little bit. Yeah, that's a hundred bucks. Yeah, like what? That's a stack. Yeah. So our so our yeah already yeah, you're yeah, looking yeah. at six seven hundred dollars just for those three just for those parts alone. Yeah. Like, I'm cool. Holy man. Yeah, I'm cool. Very good. <laughs> That's a cute idea, but not for that money. Yeah, like not nah, not for that money. <laughs> that mu- whatever I saw that cost- before. <laughs> That's almost as much as my PC altogether. Whew. I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> like I said, that's some streamer stuff. Like you'll right. just see that on that's, like a- that's some that's some XQC shit. When yeah, you yeah, yeah. That's exactly who I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after he gets banned, he'll go ahead and cop that. Poof. So yeah, um, moving on though, Chef. You have uh, I think you got like two more topics here. Oh yeah, um, EA had something leaked about another Star Wars project called Project Maverick. They still let them make Star Wars games? <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised though. I mean, they they pulled they uh, they pulled their card under from under their sleeve with the the, the Fallen Order. It's like, all right, we'll we'll throw out a good game now so we can renew this contract. Oh, because they left Respawn alone and let them make a game. Heck yeah. But nobody knows what this project is about. They speculate that it has something to do with uh, uh, flying fighters. Fighters. Oh, oh so it might, be like, it, might, it might be like Rogue Squadron. Yeah. Like, but yeah that's, I, w- uh, I wanted to play those games back when the GameCube came out. They were, I think it was a Rogue Squadron that came out for the GameCube when launch title. I'll play that so bad. I never actually got into or played any type of <laughs> game mode that involved the TIE Fighters and X-Wings and all of that. It, it was cool. I had one. There was one on N64. I think I think that's literally, it was called, uh, yeah, it was just called Rogue Squad. And they made a sequel on GameCube. Um, it was cool because I, I was into flying games at that time. Um, but yeah, it was cool just because it had a Star Wars coat of paint on it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be against uh, a new Rogue Squadron if that's what they're making. And then... Last thing, I really don't want to talk about this anymore. But <laughs> we don't. You don't have to. No, no, wait. You don't have to. You don't have to <laughs> if you want to, bro. Is it Google again? Yes. Sure. What? <laughs> we cut, yo, because they took a uh, they took a veteran from the God of War st- uh, studio. They didn't take the director, did they? Nah, it was um. I don't know what she did, but she j- they took her from the uh, Santa Monica to go run some other Google Stadia uh, exclusive game company. Oh my God. So I guess they're trying to get all the exclusives in order before like, they have to shut the platform down. <laughs> <laughs> like they're making the head of a studio that's making the game or like just hiring her to like bring in games for the platform? Oh, to help develop the games. Wow. So yeah. Well, good luck. I guess, they, I guess they getting serious at this point. I mean, if Google comes knocking with the check, are you going to say no? Well, not. No, nah, not really. See? <laughs> it, it may not work out for you long term, but it's a check from Google. Put that on a resume. You will be welcomed everywhere. But yeah. Who uh, <laughs> stated just won't die, yo. <laughs> they refuse to. Honestly, when we make the topics for these podcasts, we don't put them on in on purpose. It's just, who stated it just keeps popping up. We don't look for their stories. They just keep talking about stuff. Oh, no. I'll look for the stories. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm trying to see how quick their demise will come. Because so. <laughs> they, they fucked up heavy with the release. <laughs> so. No, still no one can use their platform. For the most part, by the way, because of bandwidth. Yeah. Yeesh. Huh. That's, that's, it. that's it for the rapid fire. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, uh... Kapaji does not like Google Stadium. <laughs> it just won't die. Uh, all right. Um. Fuck. <laughs> all right. That was the gaming portion of the podcast. Now moving on to the anime portion of the podcast. We got a question. Um. What are you about to say? Were you just about to say some boots? No. Oh, okay. Taking a drink of water. Uh, um, I don't know if I should put like a picture up or something, but uh, put up a meme, an anime related meme that always works. Um, fuck, 
I gotta find one. Damn. Uh, you don't got one oh, in your no, meme no, folder? No, I got you. Uh, I'm gonna put this this iffy one up. Hmm. Um, iffy, iffy as in Ephraim or like? Yeah, the one he posted in the general. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> The Harem Pythagoras some, and I, I thought you were put some, some some questionable or something. Oh no. Um, fuck, where'd it go? Uh, well, I Is guess. It... Um, before you while you're doing that, I guess I'll make an announcement. And it's anime related. Uh, I picked up Plunderer again. Oh my fucking. There's actual no. There's actual story going on now. It only took nine episodes, but we actually got a plot. nine. Yeah. Nine. Nine so, episodes. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. I dropped yeah, because uh, what, what was the last time we talked about? It? Like three weeks ago, I think that's the last time I watched it. And we finally got some actual fights and actual some stakes now. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so Fine. I'm not Isn't saying that a twelve episode run. Damn. It, I wouldn't. I don't know if it is, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Jesus. Yeah, it only took nine episodes for them to actually like have the nigga stop being a pervert trying to get in between women's legs all the time. And then actually, like, put up a fight and shit. That nigga was getting his ass beat for no reason. Yeah, so. And there was some fucked up shit going on in the last episode I watched. So, like, basically, um, since you're probably never going to watch it again. Um, basically, it's revealed that he used to be a general or something in the military there. Um, and then, like, some of his, uh, I guess, some of the his recruits, people he used to run with back in the military, pulled up. And they like they they whip the shits. They like like they like killing niggas and stuff. And he has like a crazy ex that like runs all that runs the whole shit. And she just pulled up to town and just lit up the whole uh lit up the whole town, yo. And then he, my man's is like, yo, why you why you do that? And uh, that's kind of where it ended. That's kind of where I'm waiting for next episode. So what the fuck? So yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, it took nine episodes. <laughs> yeah, it took nine episodes to get to that point. Oh my lord! That's some oh, episode and three. A, and apparently, um, so you know, uh, the Shadow Realm in that in that uh, show, Kimpachi. Yes. And uh, so apparently, the episode before the last one I just watched, one of the t one of the the town that they they finally left the fucking town they were in for seven episodes, right? So they left that town, and then it ended up getting destroyed by something that spawned from the Shadow Realm, and they said it was a demon. And then the demon pulled up on them in the next town that they went over. Guess what the demon was, bro? Was it the woman we saw from the first? Uh, was it a mother? No, it wasn't. Well, no, it was. There was a woman, but it wasn't the mother. So the demon that apparently blew up the town that they left turned out to be, and I kid you not, an Apache attack helicopter. A literal helicopter was the demon that blew up the town. <sighs> So after they blew up the helicopter, that's when the the old head showed up and like, yo, we we about killing niggas and shit. How come you're not about this shit no more? So yeah, the fight is cool though. So there's that. The fight is cool. I'm not trying to see a nigga fight with a, a helicopter, bro. Sorry. You don't have to. They already blew up the helicopter. I. Uh... So I just thought you'd like to know. I decided to pick it up. Again, just to see what's going on. I'm probably going to finish it just to see how it ends up. Because when they said demon from the abyss, I'm like, oh shit, it's probably like some, some Dark Souls looking nigga. Nah, it was a whole Apache helicopter. So I don't know if stuff got lost in time or what. Yeah. I, I... <laughs> so yeah. Mm. So yeah, there's your plunderer update. I'll let I'll let you know when the, when it's done how it ends. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're looking forward to it. I am definitely not. But on to the anime <laughs> uh, topic. Got the got the picture up now. Um, so going to ask our guest first. Actually, no, fuck that. Um, Damn. I, not fuck Will, <laughs> but uh, Chef Chef Tano, sir. How you doing, man? How you living? I'm doing good, fam. That's good. It's good to hear. So, who would you like to see in an animated battle to the death? It could be from uh, cartoons, anything, anything. Anything. Huh? I'm trying to. I'm trying to see because Bur Burley is already on one end. Oh <laughs> shit! Okay. Oh shit! shit. He's starting off Bur heavy. Yeah, Broly is already on that one end. I don't know who to put on the other end though, because 
I want it to be a fair matchup, and I don't want it I, to be anybody from Dragon Ball. I want it to I, be somebody. Yeah, I, I, I got to think of a new one now because Broly was going to be my, one of my choices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who could be on the other end that wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, that they could put up a fight. And it can be any animated person. Yep. Mm. I don't know who to put up against them. Other than SpongeBob. Nigga, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Bro, he was <laughs> it is a fair matchup. What? How? They, they both got super. Yo, SpongeBob cannot die. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> he has He's super not armor wrong. on everything I know. <laughs> on everything. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It's just that matchup sounds absolutely hilarious. Like, Broly's just sitting there punching. What, the- what's Broly doing in Bikini Bottom, yo? How'd he get down there? <laughs> I really don't know who else to put up against them. <laughs> and I, think, I can't think of no other anime characters that I would want to put them against. Because, uh, what's his name? Saitama. He can't die either, can he? Um, Mr. One Punch? I don't, so. I, don't, I don't think so. I don't know. We haven't seen that happen yet, so. <laughs> hmm. I mean, his name is One Punch. So I feel like that's, See, your, yeah. that's your answer there. See, I don't know if Broly can, can tank that though. <laughs> I I don't think so, to be honest. I mean, Broly has as powerful as Broly is. He has lost fights. So, <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen him lose plenty of fights. I mean, that's mainly because of his inexperience. Yeah, I was I like, mean, is OG, he a child? I, I mean, Super Broly is. He has the mentality of a. I wouldn't say like a child. Maybe more like a like a teenager. Or like an adolescent, but like OG Broly, he didn't give a fuck about nothing. I mean, he's yeah. lost fights. I mean, he he did lose to Goku. So, I th- yeah, he he's losing it. He's losing it. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's losing to SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. Um, Will, what about you? Who would you like uh, to see in an animated battle for uh, the two to most the death? annoying niggas in anime? Asta versus Natsu. Oh, Natsu from Fairy Tale? Yep. You find him that I don't think he's he's not, he's not like he's not hanging with. Uh, I don't think he's hanging with. Uh, I don't know if he's. I, I don't know if he's, he's that annoying. I feel like I could think of more characters than him. Fair enough. And he got annoying after a while for me. I mean, Fairy Tale as a show got annoying he, after a while. Yeah. Maybe that's where I'm getting it mixed up with, but that show is just, yeah, and it has the same feeling as Black Clover for me, even though I still watch it. So, I just want to see us to duke it out. Anti-magic Uh-oh. versus, like, fire magic, dragon's layer magic at that. So that would be Although cool. I did hear Fairy Tale does get dark in a certain chapter or a certain arc, so. Oh, it definitely does. So, yeah. But not enough for me to make him go back and watch it. Yeah, definitely not. Um, what is it? Uh, Blitz, what about you? Uh, I'm really struggling with this. I gotta, I gotta really think. You might have to come back to me. What's the Ooh, fight that I want? Already had see? a good one. Uh, Samurai Jack versus Afro. That'd be cool. Be I might. <sighs> Just because I can't think of anything else, I want to have to go with the uh, the the psychopath ball. You know, Gasai versus Rena from Higarashi. Yo. Oh shit! Um, to the death. <sighs> There's gonna be a lot of bullshit. I think Rena might have to pull that one out. You think so? I think she can. You know what's deflecting bullets with a with a butcher knife? Actually, yeah, you know got that. I'm tripping. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> just just, I'm be, just tri- because she just did be, that shit. Just because her boyfriend says you're doing a good job. That's all he said, and she's deflecting bullets. Huh? She was like, "All right, bet we finna get this upgrade. We finna get this uh power upgrade. Start deflecting bullets with a knife." But I mean, hey, bro. Although although Rena got a hatchet though. Yeah, she she carrying that thing around. And she and she, and she be teleporting too. Yo, when she like when she was walking down the road and my man saw her coming up from behind, then he Yo, ducked she, behind the bush yeah, and then she Rena, just spawned that's behind. That's what I'm saying. Him. Rena might have that. 
I don't know. You gotta have mad reaction time to be deflecting bullets, though. Yeah, but how you gonna how you gonna react against a teleport? Yeah, not even a teleport, think, like instant transmission. I, yeah, Rena got that then. Like she, it's not even a teleport. It's like she she's already there. She was there. She is there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then yeah, Rena got that. Rena got yo, that. Yo, what's that new Higarashi project? I'm trying to man. Man, that shit, that shit is goaded. <laughs> Um, well, well, have you seen Hegarashi before? Uh, no. Nah. Ooh, nigga. Yeah, you got to put you on, <laughs> bro. We're gonna, we're gonna have to. You put me on to what should I call it? Uh, Hina Matsuri. Hina Matsuri. Yesterday, I, I'm gonna have to return a favor and put you onto some OG horror anime shit. Yeah. Yo, yeah, Chef, man, what you my, doing tonight? I love horror, so that's right, gonna be lit. Damn, Chef. I feel like Chef will watch. Uh, Hina Matsuri. You think he can get through one episode? Of Hina Matsuri or Hegarashi? Huh? How long are the episodes? 20 minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, just do the one. Those shits are going to hit, too, because I'm in the... It, and, and and I, I promise you. No, because, yeah, so Higarashi will literally grab you in the first second. I'm not kidding. Oh, one. It'll, 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 it'll immediately grab your attention. It, it Horror is one of my favorite genres in movies in general, so this should be so, good. Yeah. So, after, yeah, after we're done with this, we'll watch episode one of Higarashi. Man, you will not be disappointed, I promise you. Yeah. Hey. Go to all right. Um, <laughs> my <yeah. laughs> uh, my battle. Um, let's see. Um, fuck it. Uh, Kimpachi versus a uh, Fujita. I knew it was gonna be Kimpachi. I knew it. <laughs> Kimpachi this is gonna be Kimpachi versus Broly. It'd be Kimpachi versus Goku. It'd be honestly. Something. Honestly, Kimpachi versus um. Kenpachi versus either Sasuke or yeah. Kenpachi versus um Miriam from Hunter Hunter. Oh, whoa! True. And I'm talking <laughs> about Miriam after um the explosion. So he got all those um the, after the what? After uh the Red Rose explosion. So he got uh, like more Nin. Oh yeah, then because they combined strong. them, yeah. You know what? I'm kind of surprised the Naruto Bleach crossover hasn't happened. Though. How how would that happen though? Uh, I'm just saying. Why not? It's a it'd be a great marketing ploy. Dragon that Ball would... and uh, Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, and uh, what's that other anime called? Did it? I can't remember. It was like a anime protagonist with blue hair, but they had a crossover, and it was weird, but it worked. Out. But it was filler. They could have just did it. I don't know why not. Maybe. Yeah. Speaking of uh, crossovers, another one I want to see. I think I mentioned this before. Cautious Hero and Kono Suba, yo. Yes, that that would be fire. That'd be, that'd that'd be, be too, hilarious. That would be hilarious. That would be two funny dynamics to watch. This nigga, this nigga fucking uh, Kazuma going to be looking at uh, say all jealous and shit. It was like, how is this nigga so OP? And I had to scratch and claw my way to get to what I got. I can't. <laughs> He gonna he gonna he gonna slap a bitch and then Dark is gonna be like slap me and then he's gonna be like no Nick weirdo <laughs> yo that should be yo lit. he's not gonna take no bullshit from water he, from, from fucking he aqua not, holy shit he'll take no bullshit yo like he's gonna be like which one is dumber my goddess or yours holy shit yo I'm, she's not that dumb though she's she, not I'm, she's just thirsty yeah she just want that nigga dick and then he's like nah I don't nah I'm, I'm no. about my business because I'm not trying to get an STD. Ooh, I feel that. <laughs> hey man, we might see him on Isekai Quartet in uh, the next season. True. So who knows? Yeah. Um. All right. Make it happen, uh, people. Yeah. Isekai <laughs> crossover. So that being said, um, I'm gonna move on to the life portion of the podcast now. So, Will, since you're our guest. Can I ask you first? Do you have a system? Do you have a routine that you do every day, or maybe uh, once a week that helps you um, feel productive? Uh, the only thing that I can say that I do every day: brush my hair for my waves. That's like part-time <laughs> job. That is a part-time job because you got to sit there and brush each side over a hundred times over and over and over again and i got to do that in the morning i got to do that when i when i go to, before i go to sleep 
So it's like, well, I was brushing a few minutes ago too when I was muting myself. I was brushing my hair, waiting to talk. <laughs> hey so man, like, yeah, getting waves is work. It's work, man. So it's like it's keeping me on a schedule, and I kind of like it. And it's like something outside of school that I can really like play around with and be productive on. Because I have to stay on top of it, or else I'll lose them, and then my hair just looks whack. All right, so I guess that's my system, at least for right now. All right, Ben. Um, Blitz, what about you? Do you have a system? Do you have a routine that you do? Um, mine's pretty. It's not necessarily a system. It's just a thing, a habit. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, I I make my bed every morning. That's it. I mean, like when I was uh, still working at the office, like or even when I go out, like. This is the first thing I do after I uh, – or when I wake up and uh, after I take a piss, I go make my bed. It's just something I kind of have to do. I mean, it's something I've been doing since I was a kid. Um, like my mom would make me do it, and then after a while, I would just do it out of habit or she didn't have to ask anymore, and I've been doing it ever since. It's, it's almost to the point where it's almost like a superstition to where, like, the shittiest days I've had at work is when the days, like, where I didn't make up my bed for some reason. So – Oh, I feel like I feel like I have to do it in order for me to feel like it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> so no, no, that's about it. Nothing crazy. I feel like, uh, Chef, what about you? I got three different routines. And uh-huh. it's not even routines, it's just shit that I gotta have. In order for me to actually go throughout or through the day or go through the day without uh clouded thoughts. One of them is making sure my hygiene is what's up. Oh, for if sure. I'm going, if I'm going to work and I don't I don't smell good or I don't feel like I'm fresh, then it's GG right there. Oh, definitely. Because I don't feel like interacting with people even more than I don't do it. Uh, two, I got to make sure I got snacks stashed <laughs> in the lunchbox. I got to have something to eat throughout the day. Because if I fall hungry, then my productivity is just going to stop. Is it particular? Stop, but it's going. It's going to take a real decline. Is it a, any particular snacks or just snacks in general? Snacks in general, whatever I get from the grocery store. Um, cookies, sometimes salted peanuts. I usually have like a granola bar. Yeah, granola bar stuff like that. I gotta have something like that to snack on from time to time, and then I gotta have my watch on at all times. That's the routine. I gotta make sure I get my watch. Because I've gotten so used to wearing my watch uh, since high school. And if I don't have my watch on, it feels like I'm, it's like a whole piece missing. It's kind of like oh, an equilibri- equilibrium is thrown off, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I feel you. So that's pretty much it. I got to make sure I got my, my watch. Because I, I do a check every single morning for my watch, my phone, my keys, and my wallet. True. That's the, the same thing. I got to have all of those in order for me to have a productive day. Now that you mentioned it, one thing that I always have to have most of my equilibrium is whether I'm going or just going out. If I'm going to be out for a long period of time, I got to have my water bottle with me. I got and, and it has to be full. Like it can't be like half, can't be a quarter empty. That's it's got to be a full bottle. <laughs> so. That's me too, because I because every time I like forget my water bottle, I gotta, I gotta tell my boss, you know, I'm running to Walgreens real quick to get some water. I can't, yeah, I can't I've done that before. I felt terrible. I, the one day, one day I forgot my water bottle at home. I felt awful. You know? Like I had water because I bought it from CVS. I was like, it's don't, it's don't, it don't feel like the right water because it's not in my water bottle. Right. I'm like, so. I gotta add water. You have chill y'all water, or do y'all just pour it and go like room temp? Uh, uh, I chill mine. For me. Either or, yeah. Usually, usually I'll put ice in it because oh. there's really nothing better than ice cold water. But oh, I do room temperature majority of the time. Uh, yeah, room temp is the way to go, man. It's like something about it. It just hits different. It can, but I like to have mine typically as cold as possible. I feel that. I feel that. Um, I think my system that I do, um, definitely I wake up, make my bed. I do... Um, I stretch, um, even if I'm rushing, like I, I still want to get a stretch in, um, just because I don't know what the day holds, but 
I make sure that I'm physically ready for it. And then after that, if I am going to work, I, I usually don't do it. But if, I, um, if I'm not going to work, I, um, I try to draw something or at least write something down every day. Um, and then if I do go to work, I just do it after I get home from work. But yeah, that's that's the routine that I'm trying to stick to right now. And then I'm trying to get a routine with my money. But, you know, you know how that be. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you have a budget. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get right now. I'm trying to look for a, a new job actually, because it's uh, job is still. Oh, you don't like being manager of the bagels? It's it's not paying enough. Mm. So yeah, but I think that's all we have for today. So if you like the podcast, if you like the content, um, go ahead and support your boy, bro. Go ahead and hit the follow button. You feel me? We gonna have some new shit dropping pretty soon. Uh, got the stream highlight video ready to go. Um, also have hands of the month uh, video in the making as well. Also, this podcast will be up um, way. I don't. I don't want to say way before it, but it should. Blitz uploads the podcast pretty uh, like good time wise, so it will definitely be before the uh, next podcast next week. So. Thank y'all. Love y'all for coming out tonight. Definitely like to see y'all um, next Wednesday or shit when I stream tomorrow. <laughs> um, and also, thank you again for Will coming out again. Definitely like to have you on again. Have some really good um, opinions. And also like to thank my co-host Blitz and Chef. Really good men. Uh, appreciate y'all. And yeah, close the statement, Blitz. Uh, drink water, wash your hands. Drink water, wash your hands for Blitz. Chef, closing statements? Uh, no. No, from Chef. Will, closing <laughs> statements? Uh, right, don't let me down. Please, don't let me down. I need a game, man, I need a game. And, uh, two, I'm gonna go with Blitz on this one. Wash your goddamn hands. You don't right. need Corona around here. Uh, <laughs> that's a riot. Don't let Will down and uh, fuck Corona. Um, close the, the beer or the virus? Um, the what? The beer or the virus? Both of them. I Did you know that thirty-eight percent of Americans actually like sales of uh, Corona beer has gone down because thirty-eight percent of Americans believe that there's a connection between the virus and the beer. Niggas need it, yo. Praise the sun. That's my closest. That's, what, hey, that, that's exactly what I was about to say. Hey, shout praise to the I, sun. He, yo, he's shout out the disciple uh, of the sun. What's his name? Uh, shout out Smooth Brain Eyes. Um, that's the homeboy. Uh, praise the sun. The sun will end us all. I'll yeah, see well, the sun go out as a rap because niggas is stupid. Yo, niggas is... Oh, man. Yo, get us out of here. Yeah, where Higarashi at, yo? <laughs> go ahead, fire We're going to start this right now. <laughs>